All right, welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial. We're going to be um, optimizing an old blog post that I published um, probably, I think it was summertime last year. I actually had a company that created the article for me and it's not doing so well. So I want to see what we can do using a couple different tools, including uh, Jasper and including Neuron Writer, um, including a couple keyword uh, keyword tools and uh, so forth. So I think it'll be a pretty cool uh, video. Uh, I know that you guys like workflow videos and this is just what I'm doing in my business. So I figured that we would just uh, record a video today for it. Now, now, I do have some people that have already reached out because I have a Jasper vault. If you actually sign up uh, to Jasper, if you're a brand new customer, right, you've never used Jasper before um, and you go and sign up uh, to the platform, then uh, you're going to get access to my Jasper vault that I created. And if I come in here to product dyno, see all these tools that I'm, uh, that I pr promote, that I do reviews on, um, some of them I like, right. And I'm going to use them in my business. And I did a launch on warrior plus, and I made some pretty good money, um, from this launch. Some of you probably, uh, actually I did not share this on this channel, but, um, uh, this is definitely, um, these softwares are definitely something that you can use to build your business with, right? So here's the Jasper vault. I created the product inside of here and we're just going to go and look at the, um, uh, the content that has been added in there so far. If I just go to preview, this is the vault. Um, it's going to be set up like this uh, kind of cool. And there's just going to be continuing uh, videos in here, different uh, case studies, ranking different content. I might even do uh, some type of case study where I add videos in here where I'm going to complete complete uh, completely start a website from start to finish from scratch and uh, build the site uh, and build all the content using Jasper and so forth. So um, if you go uh, subscribe to Jasper as a brand new customer uh, with my link below in the description, then you would get access to this as long as you're a paid member, right? Uh, it's kind of uh, one of those, uh, it's an incentive. It's a way that I can give back um, as an appreciation. Uh, if you do decide to pick up Jasper, it doesn't cost Jasper any money, more money. It doesn't cost me any more money or it doesn't cost you any more money. Uh, but it is, um, it's helpful, helpful to uh, the LearnWire channel and I can continue uh, producing the content for you. Right. And so this is going to be some fun stuff we're going to be doing inside the vault that I'm not going to be sharing uh, publicly. So you can get that. That's going to be probably the most common way that people can get access. But I did have some people that reached out. Um, they left comments even saying that, well, I'm already a paid customer to Jasper, but I'd still want to join the vault. How do I do that? So then I came up with something creative for you guys, right? So if you're already a paid member to Jasper, you could still get access to this vault by just clicking the link below that says Jasper vault, uh, jaspervault.com, right? So go there, click on it. You can read the this little sales page that I created for you. Uh, I'm not going to go over it right now in this video, but you can read the details and you're going to get access for just $8.99 per month. I tried to make this as fair as possible. And uh, the reason why I arrived at that price point is that when people subscribe uh, under my affiliate link to Jasper, um, you know, I get like a 30% commission, right? I'm completely transparent and upfront with you about all this stuff. And basically what that uh, equates to, if you pay for the lowest plan on Jasper, I, I end up getting like $8 a month for uh, being an affiliate for that, right? Some people, you know, pay for annual plans. I might make a hundred, uh, 250 bucks or something for the year. Um, so there's definitely, uh, you know, more commissions to be made for, um, customers that come in at larger levels, but uh, I wanted to make this, uh, available to the people that are going to get access to it. So if you come in at like the $59 mark, um, then I would get an $8 commission anyways. And so that's why I arrived at this. If you're already a paid member, still want access to the vault, um, then for $8 and 99 cents, um, that is, um, that's all it's going to cost, right? So you're going to get access to the vault. It's under 10 bucks. I mean, um, and I'm going to be adding a lot of value to this vault, right? So you can come and check it out. If you click on any blue button, um, you know, you're going to get more and more rankings proof as we go. There's a little picture of what I just showed you. This is brand new guys just launched this today. Um, click on a blue link here, and this is specifically made 
this sales page directly is made for people that are already Jasper customers, okay? But if you're not a Jasper customer, you can click the first link in the description or you can come down here and I talk about that right here. You can click this um, orange button here. It'll take you right over to Jasper to, to sign up. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started real quick. So um, we're gonna be looking at inside of SERP Robot where I track my rankings and I'm gonna go over here to, you'll notice that this is HPD and that is actually stands for Human Proof Designs. It's a big company that's been around a really long time. They do SEO, they do backlinks, they do content, they build full blown websites that uh, you can buy, ready to made sites. Uh, it's a big company and they did a good job with SEO when I was uh, using them. It is pricey. Uh, we're talking hundreds of dollars a month. I think I was paying $800 a month um, and I was only on for a couple months. So, uh, but they did write some uh, content for me on the site and you can see that I'm thinking that it's a, it was a little too aggressive on some of the keywords. Um, the more search volume you have on a keyword, it's just going to be a little bit more difficult to get up in the rankings. And you can see some of this content didn't even, uh, you know, isn't in the top hundred. I don't know if it's indexed. I actually didn't check. I'm sure it's indexed. It's just not ranking in the top. I think that there's a lot more that we need to do to this content. And that's what this video is going to be about guys. So, um, I want to go for this one right here, how to get monetized on Instagram. Okay. So we're currently ranking number seven. Um, it has some good search volume. What can we do to try to increase our uh, page rank uh, or to rank higher, but uh, not do backlinks on this one? So that's really what this test is going to be like. And if you like this kind of video and you are using Jasper, then this is the kind of content that you're going to get a lot of inside of the vault. All right. So we're going to come through and I'm going to take that keyword, right? We're going to go over to, um, I found the article on my site. Uh, we can go and look at it, how to get monetized on Instagram. You can see that I published it, um, uh, on July 8th. Um, somehow we did some type of, uh, um, edit or update uh, a couple weeks later, but basically July of 2022, right? So this will also look really good six months later to update our content. It might trigger uh, the algorithm a little bit as well. So you, I don't think you want to update your content too often, but um, you know, once every six months or so is perfectly fine. Uh, we're going to come through here and just kind of look at it, um, see what they've got. And then another thing, I'll do a control A and I'll right click and I will check um, word counter. And it, we do have a 1400 word article, but I think that we're probably gonna need um, a lot more uh, information. You can see we have some links in here and so forth. So, um, and a few images as well. But what can we do to make uh, this better? Also, before I go and do this test, I wanna see like, where's this, um, what is the keyword difficulty of this? I will come in here to Insta keywords. I know a lot of you bought Insta keywords. It's a super fun software to use. It's, it's exciting. I know uh, there's probably going to be people that missed the deal. Um, the, the deal was taken down and that's just the way it goes. I mean, it, we had three days to buy it and the, you know, I like it when the vendor actually does follow through and they literally said it is a lifetime deal. They put up banners all over the site. I made three videos about it. So if you missed the deal, then I, I'm sorry. You, I mean, that's, I did everything I could to get, you know, get you on board with it. I put out three videos. I even ranked an article in the top 10 within 24 hours using the tool and finding the keyword in here. So I know that I'm going to get a comments. Well, how do I get that tool? Um, but I will say that I do reach out. I do try to do what I can for you guys. Uh, I am working with the developer and asking if there's a way that I can still get you guys the tool. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be at the price that they were selling it at during the launch, but um, still see if I can get access uh, for you guys, uh, for those of you that want to buy the tool. But after just continue continuing to um, check this out, I've already added a filter right here. You can go in here and add a filter. So they've already within days already um, improved the software and added a really nice filter uh, right here where we can go and check this uh, filter by search volume, cost per click, uh, or even just um, a filter of a keyword. So that is really cool that they, you know, took our um, suggestions and went and did it right away. So super cool. And um, right here, I'm checking the keyword, how to get monetized on Instagram. And we are getting some uh, good search volume here, even more than SERP robot says, I'm going to trust this because this is coming from Google keyword planner. So this is going to be some really good search volume and accuracy right there. And it is saying the competition is great right here. 
Um, and then one, sometimes I'll take it one step further just to kind of see, I'll do an all in title search for how to get monetized on Instagram. And we're only getting six results and that's any combination of the keyword right there. It's not an exact match. If we do an exact match and put this in parentheses, so it has to be this phrase right here. Um, then we're looking at only five results, right? And mine's one of them. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, um, we're going to go and, um, grab our keyword right here and then i'm going to go into neuron writer and i'm going to go new query i'm going to throw this in right here and push start it's going to go do that and then in the meantime i'm going to go and log into my site so let's go log into the site and go to our posts and then go find our um, article over here and we have it right over here i'm going to go push edit and we're in here we go so what I'm going to do next is grab this whole thing. I guess I, you kind of have to do it in two pieces. So I'm going to go copy there. We're going to go back into Neuron Writer. It's almost done. Okay. And just to give you guys an update while recording this video today, um, I did get in touch um, just now, a few minutes ago, with the um, owner and developer of Insta Keywords, and they will um, are willing to do like a, a private promo um, just for my audience here. Um, I can't discuss the pricing or anything, but just so you guys know, if you're watching this video, you still want Insta keywords, um, just stay tuned. Uh, hopefully over the next week, I'll be able to come out and do another uh, video and a promo and you'll be able to get a, a good deal on this software. Um, so just wanted to put that out there for you guys. All right, so let's keep going. We've got our keyword in Neuron Writer. I'm gonna go click on it open it up, see if there's any outliers. So I, I mean, this is definitely like, I'll click one and then two there. Those are definitely outliers. And then I'll go ahead and just add two more over here like so, and then I'll push next. Perfect. Here we are. I'll come into Meta and just go and grab and throw that in right there. And we're going to see if I can get into uh, chat GPT. Um, I do think that chat GPT uh, does the best with um, this little strategy I'm going to show you. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go uh, write me an SEO uh, meta for um, an only V160 characters or less and include the key words and then i'll come over here to neuron and let's see i'll just grab so these keywords right here i'm not going to grab all of them i'm just going to grab like that much and then we'll go back over here to chat gbt i'm going to right click paste as text but then we need to go in and fix this up a little bit okay so see how i did that <clears throat> i'm going to push enter We'll see what it comes up with for us. So it does give us too much, but we are going to take about this much right here. So I'm going to copy that, come back into Neuron Writer and paste right here. And then you'll see this should light up green down here if it worked. Uh, yep. So we've got green, 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 green. So pretty decent there just with the, um, the meta. Um, we can actually take that and come back into the site and go in and kind of maybe fix the meta or I didn't even add that in because this was earlier before I started actually manually adding that. So we'll go in there and add that as well. I'm going to go Instagram and social media All right there. Then we're going to come back up and grab the title one last time back into Neuron Writer, back into content, throw the H1 in and then enter and then come back over to neuron or back over to the site. Sorry, control a, and we're going to copy the entire article back into neuron and paste. So it did, did bring the image in. That's fine. And here we go. So now we can see kind of where we're at and possibly this is, you know, more compared uh, competitive than we would like. Um, we do have some good green here, but there's a lot more we can do over here. And then we have the uh, competitors uh, best right here. So 46. So we're not even in the medium 
to rank in the top 10, right? So we have some improvement to do. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and before conclusion, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to say people are also asking uh, something like that, right? I, I change that up. You don't have to just put people also ask, but maybe use your own kind of words there, uh, your own phrase. And I'll make that an H2. And then we'll make some H3s with this uh, going out right here. But what we will do is we'll come into Google and we'll, um, we'll go grab our question. And then we'll come back over here to Google and we'll throw that in, right? And then we'll come in here to the people also ask section, right? Oh, and I've, I also wanted to check on the words. So how many words do we need? So we need a 3000 word article, right? And we only have a thousand words um, right there. So we've got our work cut out for us right now. So what I'm going to do is come down here and we're going to focus on people also ask. So I'm going to click on some of these like this. And then we're going to go through here and I'm going to copy all of these right here. And then I'm going to go back in to Neuron Writer. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste as plain text. And then I'm going to grab all these and make them H3s for now. Okay. So then I'm going to go over here and push return after each one. And then I'm going to open up the Jasper um, on my other screen. Um, or I'm just going to condense this down while we're writing content. So we will come back in just a sec. Okay, so we've got two softwares on the screen right now, so we can be more productive. And then I'm going to go and grab um, these questions right here. And <clears throat> I'm going to say, answer this question in a... All right, so that's kind of the prompt that I'm putting in. And it changes uh, depending on just kind of what I come up with. I do have a list of prompts that I, um, I also have put into a Google Doc. Uh, but for now, <clears throat> we're going to go with answer this question in two paragraphs in a friendly tone optimized for SEO to rank on Google. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that one in and push enter. And let's see what Jasper chat comes up with. And the reason why I'm using Jasper chat is that um, it creates, it answers the question really, really well, but then it also creates uh, over 90%, most of the time, 95 to 100% uh, non, non AI detectable um, content, right? Which none of the AI, other AI writers are doing. And so that's what I'm most impressed with. And it also answers um, questions and it can answer questions in real time by um, pushing this little button down here, include Google search data. <clears throat> So um, having an active engaged follower and so forth, right? So we can grab this content and I'm going to go ahead and just come in here and paste it in there like so. So then now is it hard to get monetized? So these are specific questions that people are asking. So then now what I'll do is I'll just grab our prompt here. And this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm not going to do the whole thing on video for you. So I don't bore you, but I am going to do a couple of them and show you my workflow, how I'm going to just uh, replace that with our new question right here. And then I'm just going to push And uh, when I remember to, I just click that button there. Um, it may give you even more accurate or more uh, current uh, information. So it's going to come back out and notice that it did give us the two paragraphs, right? Um, that we asked for, which is really, really cool. And you can see by adding that content in there, we went from a 42 to a 43 up here as well. So adding this content, we're going to be meeting a bunch of different things. We're going to be meeting, we're going to be increasing the score in Neuron Writer. We're going to be adding to the total content that we need as well. And then I'll show you one last thing as well. So we have this, I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And you can even go and, you know, sometimes it might be helpful to just grab the whole thing. So copy. Um, so you get more links and some more outbound links, uh, which looks natural um, in your content as well. So that's kind of cool that Jasper does that for us as well. There's no problem at all um, adding in some sources there to help source, uh, to put sources on there that we got some information from these sites possibly. And that's how you would do it if you were a professional writer or researcher as well. So we're going to paste that in there. We can leave those in there. 
and then we can go in and just continue, right? So I've got a bunch more to go. I'll come back when I have those done and I'll show you another step that we can do to continue increasing our score. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we uh, spent some time. That actually took about 15, 20 minutes to do that. Uh, but your content is going to be a lot more new, unique. If we take this, uh, control A, and then copy that, we're gonna go ahead and you can see right here, here's all the uh, writing in Jasper. We're gonna go ahead and just maximize this window now. I'm gonna go over here to originality, start a new scan, paste this in, and we're gonna be looking at uh, detection right here. So 36%, uh, uh, most of this um, was written in Jasper at the bottom, but um, all this other content at the top um, that was literally written by, um, should have been written by humans, um, with hiring the agency, I have to come down here and just take all this content. Let's see what this content score um, is over here in originality. Push start and paste that in and try again. So 64% original, uh, not bad. Would expect it to be a little bit higher. It does show that even when, he, uh, you know, you have to take the originality or um, .ai or any of the AI detection, um, you have to take it with a grain of salt. It's not the end all be all. It is fun to check just to see if you can get higher scores. Um, but um, I've said it a number of times in my videos that it, this really doesn't mean much right now. Google is definitely not penalizing AI content. They're just penalizing bad content. So you're going to want to read through and if everything is good and factual and everything, it doesn't matter to me, uh, for my opinion, it doesn't matter where it came from because I have uh, so much content that is written 100% in AI um, and it's ranking in the top 10. So I say that several times. So I'm going to come back in here and just check. So we're going to do one last thing. I'm going to come to the bottom here and we're going to kind of write some paragraphs right here. We're going to use some chat GPT on this one. I have tested this in Jasper. It doesn't work quite as uh, well as uh, chat GPT. So you have kind of like, you're going to get more unique content um, that's going to pass as human content using Jasper, a Jasper chat, right? But you're going to get uh, the intelligence of chat GPT is even better. And so with this strategy, I'm going to show you right here, um, especially for you, those of you that stuck around and watched the entire video right now, you're going to get some really golden gems right here that um, no one else is teaching. I should be uh, putting this in my course, but I am going to do this right here on this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through right here and I'm just going to open up like um, a word pad real quick. And what I'm going to do here is I, all these ones that are in gray, I'm going to go ahead and just basically I'm going to write a prompt for chat GPT. I'm going to say, write a um, few SEO paragraphs that are optimized to rank in Google. Um, top 10 um, search results for the keyword. I'll go ahead and grab that um, keyword. I like to put it in parentheses to just emphasize that that's the keyword and make sure to include these keywords these keywords uh, go back into neuron writer over here and then open this back up so you can see that you know this there's no one click uh thing going on here guys you know i i do rank content uh with uh you know some ai writers like copy ai and if you want really really fast methods and stuff uh, go check out some of my videos on copy ai and hypotenuse those are some really good softwares that you can do one click um, pretty high quality content but this right here, you're putting in, you're going the extra mile. You're really, really working for it um, to optimize for SEO. And uh, you're going to get some really good results with this method as well. So now I'm going to go and just start typing in make money on Instagram. I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to say Instagram, um, Instagram in 2023. And you can see I'm going to skip one that just says 23, like right here, because once we put Instagram in 2023, um, this one will also highlight green and, and sometimes I'll skip them. If they don't make sense, but Instagram 
influencer and I always go down to the basic area right all this basic over here I'll definitely uh, put all those in and then I'll also work on some extended as well but you also uh, want to limit it to about 20 or less keywords um, or then it kind of will struggle with this method right so um, Instagram influencer and then we're gonna go here and go Instagram post and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pause or uh, skip through this um, real fast okay so here we are you can see I you have to kind of manually write them all in because if you ho um, ho hover over this and copy that you're still gonna get this little I wish you could copy these uh, in an easier way that doesn't have these numbers in them but either way spend the time you know it takes three minutes or so and you've got this uh, nice prompt here that we're telling it to include these keywords. I'm gonna go back in here to chat GPT. I'm gonna go throw this in right here and push enter and it's gonna go to work. Hopefully it will, uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but most of the time it does work and it will include probably about 70 to 80% of the keywords that we're asking it to. And right here, here we go. So in 2023, Instagram continues to be a major platform for creators and influencers to make money on. With over 1 billion active users, Instagram offers a vast audience for those looking to monetize their content. So it's going to go and do its thing. We'll be right back. And we're on to the third paragraph right here. So I said to write a few paragraphs. So here's one, two, and it's on three right now. Looks like it decided it wants to do number four. And a little summary right there. So it wrote us a little article. And this is going pretty slow. If you guys are using ChatGPT, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to the plus plan because um, I think it's, I'm not sure how much it is, but I'll make a video on that as well. But I've noticed that it's definitely slowed down a lot uh, because they want everyone to go and pay now. Um, so I'm going to go copy that. I'm going to go back into Neuron Writer. We're going to finish this bad boy up right here. I'll just say some more information about, um, getting monetized on Instagram, right? And I'll make this an H2. We'll go like that. We'll push return. And then watch all the green over here. It should highlight. We should have a lot of green. Paste as plain text. Uh, it should start lighting up green on our screen right here. And you can see, look at all that green. And we just went from uh, wherever we were at, to, we just added like five points on there just by adding all those keywords in. And now we're at a 53 right there. So we've definitely improved our score. We have a lot larger piece of content on the page. We're at a 53 right here. We're definitely better, um, good enough to make the top 10 when you come and look at this, right? So you look at the top 10 up there is a 46. So we're already there. And we're getting close to being able to outrank the best content. But for now, I think I'm going to end there. Um, we're going to go and push save right here. I'm going to go and check the content analysis. So we're at a, where are we at? We're at a 53 right now. And we come in here and really there's a 57 right there and a 260s, right? So we should be able to break into the top 10 with this. Uh, we'll see. Um, and just kind of looking at content, I probably should beef it up even further, um, with the content as well, but we do have something over here, this HubSpot post that has, um, really bad optimized content and it doesn't have that much content on the page. We should be able to, um, to outrank them at this point. So that's it. I'll go and update my post. I hope you guys enjoyed the strategies on this using a Jasper, using a chat GPT, uh, using all these different tools uh, that we have in order to create our content and go out and try to improve um, our ranking for an article that's been published about eight months ago. We'll see if we can improve this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this again. If you want to go and get my Jasper training vault, uh, there will be a first link in the description. If you are not a Jasper customer, go click that link and you can go and sign up. And once you pay for Jasper, you will get access to the vault. If you are already a paid member of Jasper, but you want access to the training vault, click on the second link in the description. It's jaspervault.com. You'll come over here and you'll just join with one of the blue buttons here and you'll get access as well. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to LearnWire and I'll see you in the next video.